It's Monday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Murayo Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Oh, Biajilu Ugbo, how you Hi. doing? Good morning. I'm doing amazing. Good to see you. Good to see you. How too. was your weekend? We saw you lounging and hanging out <laughs> with your girl. I told you, you guys, know, now the that. Party. February is my month of rest. Ah, we can so see the rest We went happening. on a vacation. <laughs> We're actually being hosted by the Opoches. Oh. So we went to Eco Hotel. We spent nice. the whole weekend there. Had oh, food, good food. Oh, sweet. We ah. swam. You ah. know, the kids had their play at the playground. The beds were comfy enough. We, we just relaxed. I, I just said, I don't want so many activities. I just want to lounge, eat, nice. drink, just oh. relax and get ready for work. So oh, that's nice. what happened. nice. I like that. Yeah. Cool, cool. You saw, you saw you guys, the kids also had fun. I yeah, can they, see had the, fun. they had fun. Well, next time I'm not going with the kids because no action happened. <laughs> so when I got home yesterday, I had to compensate. The or you have a whole month. Uh -uh. And see, calm down. No, that one is very important. The whole weekend, nothing happened. So when I went home <laughs> last night, before we I slept, I said, sweetie, let me compensate you <laughs> for the good <laughs> job. It's Monday morning. I we didn't say serious. anything. Now. Can we you come. say what I said? No, you can't say anything. <laughs> Alaja, Nima, Akasha, <laughs> Zibiri, how are Alaja, you? Alaja, you did <laughs> after Sunday. You did after Sunday, in my whole life, only this, only I didn't talk about it. Alaja, Angel. Well, um, the weekend for me was a lot of activities. Um, Nigeria's um, situation, all the scarcity and all of that, the several queues people are dealing with. And then, as I was just celebrating the good news of uh, Thames getting a Grammy, I got another notice of the earthquake that happened that affected Lebanon, Turkey, Syria, all these countries, and it was a deep, very terrible one, if you see mm. the level of destruction. Mm. In Nigeria, if we are our, the issues we deal with are man-made, we are blessed. We can avoid it. Yeah. You understand? The people in Syria, Turkey, and Lebanon could not have done anything to avert what happened to them. Sure. For even, even with a deliberate government, that is an, an act of God that they cannot af avoid. But we here, we can excuse all these problems that we have. I just hope that you know, we reason, we, we reflect properly. It's, it's seriously important. Mm. Well. <clears throat> How are you doing? I'm, good. I'm very, very good. I had a very eventful weekend. Mm -hmm. So on Friday, Murayo posted me on Instagram. And I want you all to go and watch it on Instagram. So it's on my page and it's on our page. We had a very interesting conversation. And so that was Friday. And then on Saturday, it was um, hangout for mm, Mumi's yeah. birthday, yes. and that was real fun. You know, just having conversation, mature women, mm. you know, everybody discussing. Um, very interesting. It was just interesting to just have that kind of, it's not my kind of mm. space. So I, I enjoyed the food and the conversation. And then on Sunday, it was, I went to church, but I did not attend service. You know, those kind of, you are a worker in church, workers in church try, because you are in church, but you don't, you are from one meeting to the other, all through the service. I had to get back home to watch online the service that I was present in physically because wow. I just did not do the service. But I'm grateful to God. Um, God is really faithful. And Nima just solved the major problem for me right now. And I'm praying that the testimony will be complete. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> Fantastic. So, do we have? I just told you. I just said. No, it's okay. Listen, it's okay. I mean, it's no, so, but so, you so, had so. the same thing now. You went live with me. You went on a day. Yeah, you had, went live thing. yesterday, too. Yes, I went live yesterday. So, I'm doing this BAT series, which I um, initiated. And the reason why I thought, because I just felt that the, um, the, 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 the BAT wasn't having a fair. Social media, yeah. social media um, um, outreach because people don't know this person and all they hear is the negatives of this person. And I thought, that, okay, yes, we've seen negatives. But can we just find some light in this? So, there's some people that might be able to vouch for this personality and who he is. So I thought to engage some people. I'm still looking for some big wigs to talk to, mm. to see. I'll, uh, see, I'll how... love to hear you talk to Bajabi Amila. Yeah, I would like to. Um, I'm trying to get yeah. Bajabi Amila, but I know it's so difficult to get him. But I got a few other people just to hear other sides of, of Ashiwaji because, I mean, listen. He's, he, he's definitely not liked on, on the streets of Twitter. So I'm trying <laughs> to see how I can shed some light on that area. There's someone I know who's doing so much online. Mm. Mm. In diaspora. Okay, okay, I think he reached out to me. Okay. And there's been from Manchester, I think, or something. Mm. All right, that is all we can take on this. Greetings. When we come back, we look at the front pages of the paper. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. 
Thanks for staying with us. We're going to start with the nation. His victory, our victory. That, okay, that's a, the nation. Oshomoli, Emir Feliz, narrow policy designed to scuttle elections. I plan for reunion and forgiveness is assured you. Okay, which story? Like, only one story in nation this yeah, morning. Yeah, so Front when page. I took the story, so I, I took the paper first. <laughs> so, um, you know, the Naira design has been generating a lot of controversy. And uh, the former Edo state governor, Adam Sushomale, has described the policy uh, implementation, which started in January, as one designed to scuttle the elections uh, scheduled for the February 25th and March 11th. He says that the policy is ill-conceived, not well thought out, and poorly timed. He went ahead to say that the governor, the CBN governor is, you know, trying to rope in the president because we see the president as um, anti-corruption. He has an anti-corruption posture. And so they are trying to pit him against Nigerians. Then he went ahead to narrate how uh, he had, you know, he wanted to contest for the presidency. That's the mm. CBN governor now. And he had, you know, indicated interest in buying his tickets. But by the time the president had instituted an order that if you want to contest, you must resign, he went back. He didn't come out again to tell them why he was resigning. And he promised them that he was going to make a huge announcement. And all of a sudden, they are seeing a Naira redesign, which was mm. his huge assignment or announcement. Then um, the Speaker of the House of Reps was also saying that. Uh, um, they will likely reconvene before the 25th of February if nothing is done concerning this uh, Naira design, if Nigerians are still facing a lot of hardship. So they are monitoring uh, what is going on and, you know, they are on recess right now and they were supposed to be resuming February 28th. But if nothing is done, they will likely resume on time. And they, they went ahead to say that they had to forcefully uh, bring Emefele to, you know, answer the sort of hard questions that they had for him in the house because they kept inviting him and he kept declining till they issued uh, a war, like a threat before he could come. And he would have been the first CBN governor to be arrested to come face uh, the House of Assembly. But they said everybody is um, looking towards uh, seeing the changes that will happen in the coming weeks to see what will happen if he, they will have to reconvene back and handle the situation. Mm. Moving on quickly now to the punch. Buhari under pressure to end fuel and Naira disasters. FBI police hunt killers of Nigerian pastor's wife. Overcrowded Abuja schools where pupils learn on their floor. Niger took Chase Tinubu to London for PCC appointment, says Keamu. Extension INEC silent as PVC collection ends. Telecom subscribers sue government over tax and interim government illegal parties won federal government. Okay, which story are we starting with? Let me just do the picture story. So, um, Punch did this report, and the local education authority school in Zone 9, Lubi Abuja, is the school in question. This school, the picture shows clearly that the students are sitting, people are sitting on the floor, and it's a primary and post-primary um, education facility within the Federal Capital Territory. And sadly, this is a small area, you know, um, governed by a minister for the FCT, but they are not administering the basic, um, what they call, it's called suburb for the states, is called, um, what's it called for the federal government? Basic uh, health. Uh, money. I'm trying to remember the name of that fund is not being utilized properly in that area. If you can find schools like this within the FCT. That's UBEC. UBEC, UBEC. UBEC. UBEC is what I'm trying to remember. So the Minister for Education has continued, continuously emphasized that state governments are not doing enough. Mm. So it's sad that within the FCT, FC, FCT where UBEC will be seated, yeah. you'll find schools like this. So mm. the picture shows a terrible image. The toilets, the classrooms, you know, everything is in a dilapidated state within the FCT in this story. And um, I like that so one expert, I'm trying to take his name quickly, um, the director of program, Reform Education, Ayoda Molao Luatoyin, said that, you know, government must take responsibility. Mm. That this image you're seeing from the FCT yeah. cuts across states. Yeah. So you will see some performing states, they'll be, you know, talking. All of us in Lagos mm. don't know the reality. Yeah, across that's it. Yeah. And that's why we must even review the, it's, it's because terrible. Quebec was an intervention. Real local governments owned the public, the, private um, the private nothing private the um, primary public schools. primary schools. Yeah. Basic education belongs to local government. Yeah. But Ubeck was an intervention. So have we reviewed the effectiveness yeah, of Ubeck in the past few years? Where mm. I'm going. Have they been in effective? In the FCT, 
they don't have such. Exactly. What they have, I think, is another development authority for the federal capital. Who so they are, when you beg fund comes there, it should go directly to exactly. schools. Oh, what is happening? Who is probing what? Exactly. Why should this kind of image come from our capital? Exactly. It doesn't make sense. That's so true. Let, let me take, uh, you I want want to take the major headline. Major. So the major headline, um, our president, Mamadou Buhari, is under pressure to end fuel crisis as well as the Naira um, crisis. And they said um, a few governors met with the president to discuss the issue. Nigerians, including senators, governors, and youth on social media are on their own campaign. But APC governors on Friday met with the president, and the conversation was to put an end to the new Naira Notes crisis. The chief press secretary for Ogun State's governor, Dakwa Biodo, um, explained that the crisis in Ogun State was so bad that the governor of Ogun State had to suspend his campaign because it didn't make sense for him to be dancing when he can yeah. see that majority Lying. of his people and are groaning, groaning and yeah. complaining, unable to buy food. He said that um, in view of having a lasting solution, it's not a it's it's not a few days thing. It should be resolved within a few hours. That relief must come to his people. Then I need to highlight the story of Yobe State because Yobe governor on his part, Maman um, Muhammad, who is the spokesperson for the governor, said that Yobe's crisis. They have insurgency. Mm. Most of the state is not banked. The, that the few banks in the state are so far apart that many of people in Yobe State, for them to go to a, get into a banking hall, need to travel very far. Mm. So how do they even access the cash? There is insecurity, there is insurgency, there are no banks. Majority of his citizens don't even own a bank account. Mm. So this policy for him does not even, it, it doesn't even work. He said exactly. our problem is more than this policy. Yeah. The new Nera notes cannot work in your base states, that the extension they've given, I yeah. imagine the scarcity of petrol, the rising inflation, and we find it difficult to have access to our cash because immediately, according to him, is lawless and very stubborn. Yeah. That's, yeah. Um, and it, many people are complaining about I this, agree. that the, the situation for them is not realistic. So they, they um, um, Punch highlighted a few tweets mm. mentioning the crisis, yeah. many governors yeah. mentioning the crisis. Yeah. People are complaining that the electronic transfer they've done hasn't even reflected. Exactly. Exactly. So they, their money has not arrived and they I'm cannot do transactions with how it. how one human being can hold a whole nation. So let me know. And put us in crisis. One person makes a decision. National will call you. National will call you. No, we won't so, answer. You know they've said responding by <laughs> making videos across bank vaults and saying yeah, they're they the ones holding As if these notes are the one that how many, how many Do you know votes? how many northern states are reflective of what Yube is? Mm. Niger, hey. Sokoto, states that you know, even Kaduna. We'll talk about it. You know, it's still a hot topic. We'll discuss it a bit later. Let's also talk about the the womb, the death of the uh, Nigerian past based pastor is a king's wife. His wife, Eunice Dumfo, she's um um she was she died in New Jersey. She was shot, 12 bullets were shot at her oh my in God. New Jersey. The FBI and the Jersey police have embarked on a joint operation to see how they can un un unravel the mystery surrounding her death. According to the report, she was seen talking to the assailant right before he shot at her, and she was having a conversation with him. And um, so she stomped over her wheel, and she had the hooded top on her, on, on her, on her, and her hands were down, and she, and she, obviously she died immediately. Mm -hmm. um, she's the wife of the pastor, I think is the um, Nigerian-based Champions Royal Assembly. Her husband is um, Pastor Izzy is Kings. And she was a director also in that church. She was the, um, business, she's also a business analyst and she's come professional for Fire Congress Fellowship Incorporated. Um, I mean, the fact that she was even speaking to her shooter before her death means that she possibly knew the person. The person. Mm. So the person showed up. I mean, really, really sad. The FBI is on it and I hope we can get the, um, the assailant quickly. Yeah, okay. so telecommunications, consumers. Let me go on a quick break there. Okay. Then when we come back, we'll continue with our review All on right. Punch. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. Yes, we're still reviewing Punch. Yes, yeah. so the telecommunication consumers under the ages of the National Association of Telecom Subscribers have dragged the federal government to court over its plan to implement a 5% excise duty on telecom services. So according to the national president, NATCOMS, Adeolu Gubanjo, uh, the suit is against the imposition and implementation of excise duty and the continued imposition and implementation of value-added tax on telecom services. He said that the suit was on 
us is not fair. It says when you buy airtime, you pay VAT. Why are you still paying VAT for the services? Uh, the suit also was cited by, by Punch, and they are praying the court to declare the VAT on telecom services as unconstitutional and illegal, and declare the implementation of excise duty on telecoms as null and void. They said um, it was the first time they mentioned it was in July, and then it was suspended in September. And right now, I think they are trying to revise it again. And they are saying that if um, tell, if this is allowed to happen, that means consumers will be paying about 12.5% uh, VAT or on their purchases every time. And it's not working. We already know that we do not have um, the good purchasing power as consumers. And then we're adding this one again to our telecom services. So let's see how it goes in court. Okay, um, the point. 19 days to go, state of the race. Families of slain robbery suspects cry for justice as stakeholders lament continued extrajudicial killings. Nobody plays anti-politics -po uh, politics more than Atiku says Onye Buchi Chuku. Pension assets hit 14.9 trillion naira amid limited investable options. And housewife docked for allegedly assaulting man who sexually harassed her. Okay, which story are we taking the point? I have that gossip, the interesting one. So this housewife in Oshun State, uh, Mr. Ayodeji, has been, you know, um, arraigned for assault of a man on a one count charge of assault. And the, it, the court proceeding was very interesting. So she insisted that the man had, um, she, she did that because he was putting sexual advances at her and that he brought in, a, he found an excuse to bring in uh, another issue. So he, that's the complainant in his own account, said his name is Sunday. He said he met Ms. Tura over a disagreement that ensued between her and his friend, whom he had borrowed 20,000 naira for a thrift. And he said that she was snubbing him when he sought her attention to table the thrift collection matter and ended up tearing his clothes when he insisted to have her attention on the issue. Hmm. She said she tore his clothes because he had sexually advanced at her in the past and then found this excuse to come into the matter. So I think there's an agreement. We can see that the lines of the lie and the truth are mm. balancing out. Okay. So she insisted that the matter did not concern him. The thrift matter did not concern him. It was between her and his friend. Right. And he found a way to bring the matter up and that she refused to pay him attention. And then he insisted. And so that led to what? But the court, uh, the chief magistrate, the magistrate is, um, over, sitting over the matter has asked both of them to go and settle before mm. the next hearing. And that if they fail to settle, she will proceed to hear the case. Daily Sun. <clears throat> Naira redesign senseless, says Oshomale. Tension heightens over new Naira notes and fuel scarcity. Anxiety in APC at Sinumbu's Cold War uh, with Buhari. Scarcity to worsen as Ipman warns members not to buy petrol above 195 Naira to the litre. Census NPC reassures on conduct of credible, acceptable headcount. PDB commends Atiku for standing for Nigerians, and PDB will ensure Southeast inclusion, says Okoa. The way of plot to derail electoral process, North Elders tell Buhari. Okay. Which story are we taking in? Um, okay, the CBN. This on? Yeah, the Central Bank of Nigeria is ordering all deposit money banks, DBMs, DMBs across the country to ensure 24 7 service availability and promptly address any customer uh, dispense errors arising from service failures. They said that um, they are reiterating that the currency redesign policy will improve tax collection and reduce tax evasion. And avoidance. So they are trying to make um, sure that um, all the money needed for dispensing will be made available to the bank so that uh, cost, uh, consumers will be able to get cash out of the bank. And he said they are collaborating with the um, entire financial ecosystem, the DMBs, the OFIs, the MMOs, super agents, MFBs, payment system providers and EFCC, ICPC and other law enforcement agencies to ensure that Nigerians have a variety of options for financial transactions, either through electronic channels or in exceptional circumstances. And one of the reasons this is done is to make sure that they put the include even the informal sector into the banking system so that everybody is able to have a, you know, a bank account. And I remember the story I just took this morning in the rural areas which they have not considered and they've not told us how they are going to solve the issues of people in the rural areas. Okay, so the um, National Population Commission has reassured Nigerians and the international community that they will carry out this coming um, population and housing census scientifically. They said that 
they are ready to conduct it credibly and they'll be relying on technology to carry it out. They did, um, this was announced at the, by the, at e, the federal, by the federal commissioner representing Enugu State at the International Management, uh, in, 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 sorry, Institute of Management and Technology International Conference Center in Enugu, where they flagged of a 10-day training for facilitators for the 2023 population and housing census that will be happening this right. year. <clears throat> so the Northern Elders Council, NEC, has urged President Buhari to handle the events leading to the election, saying that he must ensure fair, transparent, and rancor-free process. According to him, they are non-state actors who are going beyond merely lining their pockets to sabotaging and causing chaos um, to scuttle the electoral process. He said that that's, um, the other statesman, Tanko Yakasai, tasked Nigerians to exercise caution in their voting decision and avoid falling for the traps of groups, political parties, and ethnic agenda to divide our nation. Okay, let's move on quickly now to Vanguard. Anger, frustration as PVC collection ends. New Naira note, OPS 6 weighs out of supply hiccups. PSC appoints three DIGs, suspends 19 CPs and DCPs promotion. We are waiting for Dangote Refinery to remove subsidies, says reps. Presidency, Mackinde will tell you candidate to vote for, says Wiki. PDP accuses APC of mopping up cash for vote buying. Eight killed in Undo Fresh attacks. Polls, catastrophe awaits rigors. Yakasai warns politicians. Okay, which story are we starting with? I want with? to take the story of the petrol, petrol crisis that we're still facing. The <clears throat> Depot and Petroleum Products Marketers Association of Nigeria, Dapman, um, so far continue to still sell their ex depot price at 200 naira per liter, which makes it impossible for independent marketers nationwide to sell for anything less than that. The federal government, in a crucial meeting with, with um, all the stakeholders of the downstream sector last week, pegged the ex depot price at 172. But checks by Vanguard show that private depot owners continue to sell at 200 and above. And they are saying that it's because they have old stock and they will still sell out that stock before hmm. they revert the price to 172, which means that um, consumers, motorists are having to pay between 250 to 300, depending on the location, as much as 500 to, acquire, to buy per liter of fuel. Um, NNPCL has said that they, they still insist that they don't have a fuel shortage crisis, that the issue is a transportation crisis. And the, there is over 127 million liters of PMS in all the facilities for the month of February. So we have surplus supply and we're just waiting to see how it eases out. However, good news for Lagos because the um, Ijegun Egba tank farm owners Operate, um, operators Association has said that they've pledged that they would be selling their ex depot price at 172. So probably that will bring a bit of relief to people okay. within that area. That would be a miracle. Um, the Police Service Commission promotions are flying everywhere as, as well as suspension of uh, promotion. So they are promoted about six AIGs, if I'm not mistaken, to DIG's position. Sorry, three AIGs to that of a DIG's position and suspended 19 commissioners and deputy commissioners to their promotion to AIGs and CPs because of their failure to appear before them for the mandatory promotional interview. And um, they continue to promote about 47 um, DCP, DSP of police who um, previously were recommended to their position. 665 assistant superintendent of police were also promoted so promotions happened within the police service Okay, so the House of Representatives has said there was no going back on the removal of subsidy, uh, saying that they are waiting for the completion of Dangote Refinery, which is holding back the removal of subsidy. So the chairman of the committee on um, ECOWAS, Adebayo Balugun, said this at the concluded commissioning of Lekki Deep Seaport in Lagos. And he said subsidy will be removed as soon as possible once Dangote Refinery comes on board. And he said um, they had, according to the... Um, PIA, that's Petroleum Industry Act, they said it was supposed to be removed in June. But the federal government is saying they will do their best to make sure that they remove it in April. So we just need to be patient while Dangote Refinery comes up and other refineries as well. They also said that uh, the Dangote Refinery uh, also has the petrochemical plants, which will uh, bring 
chemicals used for plastics, pharmaceuticals, and others. And these are some of the things that we spend billions mm -hmm. of naira and billions of dollars on. So that will also help us to see how we can uh, create more opportunities for people in the country, provide more jobs, and see how the economy goes. All right, that's all we can take on Front Page Review. When we return, move on to our hot topic of the day. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. On this segment, we will be discussing the trending, disturbing videos of banks hoarding the new Naira notes, causing untold hardship on the masses. On this show, we've had something called hashtag we the people. And these are times we need to remind ourselves of our responsibility to our nation. To join the conversation, you can call us on 081-270-53687. 0913907698. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweets. Um, when government makes policies, people are always quick to condemn because we never like to see the other side of the story. A lot of times, many have said that this policy would have been great if it didn't happen during the election period. Others are saying that regardless of, there's never a good time to do a good policy. But either way, you always have to worry about the implementation and how it affects people. But now, the CBN was telling us that they've sent money out. And we kept saying, there are no monies there. So they now sent in their, um, their staff, their personnel, to go with ICPC and EFCC, to go to individual banks to see what's going on. Maybe these banks, they don't know that they're going to make do their promise. They came, and some banks, and they actually mentioned the names of some of the banks, where they actually kept it. Now, I wonder... Why would they keep the new notes? What, what exactly are they trying to achieve? I know you guys don't work in banks, but why are we like this? That, that, that's a question many Nigerians are asking themselves. Why are we like this? Because those guys are probably working on instructions from their superiors. Yes. So what are the superiors trying to achieve by holding the new notes? What are your thoughts on this? Why do you, why do you think this is? You see, you want to start? Okay, so I think the average Nigerian likes to take advantage of people's plight to make something out of it. Uh, when you see there are issues, let's take for instance, um, a protest breaks out. And before you realize what's happening, you see a lot of people going into shops to loot. So that at the end of the day, they blame everything on the protest. People who started a protest, who started it peacefully. without violence, peacefully, just walking and making their plight known to uh, the government. Other miscreants who want to take advantage of the situation, we start going into people's businesses to destroy it. It's a Nigerian thing. So now they are building like what I would call, because from this... Um, videos that we've seen, seeing um, the CBN exposing banks that had cash. They are now building a sort of fake scarcity so that people can leverage on it. We've seen that um, for you to get some amount of money, you have to pay extra. It's not business. People are now doing business. If they are not giving to their high-profile clients who will probably sought them for having, you know, that cash mm -hmm. given to them, they are exchanging it for more. They are making money out of people's hardships. And this is what happens in this country. For me, if you make a law and you say this and this is what is going to happen and you go around to investigate and see there's a problem, the people should be called to order. There should be sanctions. There should be uh, uh, fines uh, paid for not distributing the cash where you need to distribute the cash. And I saw some of the videos and I was like, yes, so these people had this amount of money. Why aren't they giving to the poor people over the counter? I saw another video. I think Nima was the one that posted it where some... Um, Young boys were beating up a bank um, mm. officer, lady, went on her way home, took out the tire of her car, and was harassing her for not paying their father. I think that was the mm. man that yeah, went naked can, in yeah. the banking hall. So I was blaming the young men for doing this, and all of a sudden I'm seeing their banks actually have this have money the and they are not releasing. So mm. can we try as much as possible not to um, always take advantage of people when things like this yeah. happen? You know, I, I, I always think to myself, don't bank owners have a WhatsApp group? Do they talk together? Do they, are they communicating they do. together to know? Or do they all decide that, ah, 
Don't mind that MFLO. Don't you don't don't give out the money. What do you think could have caused banks to hold this kind of money? Sibian, mm. MFLO himself. Mm. So you want to sit on a policy? You want to you know push out a policy that you don't sit on? If banks, for instance, have high-paying clients who, when they lose their accounts, there will be consequences on their businesses, what do you think will happen? If you want something to be available, to not be overpriced or something, you take out scarcity. You enter the market with the money, not just give banks. Because they went with cameras into bank vaults now. Because I had to ask someone that, does this look like, if, is this how the inside of a vault looks? And he said, yes. yes I said, okay, wow. good. Because I thought they were shelved in somewhere mm. on the corridor somewhere. They met bank staff in the banks with the money. Hmm. You can say they don't put all of that in the ATMs, but you said withdrawal should be via ATM and not via counter. You, you issued that uh, regulation. You did not conform with the CBN Act on how uh, no, uh, uh, old notes should be phased out and new notes be brought in. Did you conform with the time limit when you gave a month? Is that how the law works? And that, is that how it's been done in the past or in other countries? You said within a short time, this is what will happen. I don't care. I don't care. As if the only thing that controls your economy is a new note. You forgot the livelihood of others, people. The tomato seller market seller, I'll be only holding, oh, you know, the body, 2,500. Mm -hmm. Imagine me collecting body, 5,500, and I cannot pay my cash. And she refused to take a transfer because she will not go and buy plantain exactly. with a transfer. Before. Mm. I'm only at 2,5 now. Every day, just give me, just give me to the body, don't finish now. She doesn't have plantain to roast. But that is the reality. We, when, we talk it, when we talk about it like that in the lamest, simplest term, mm. you think, oh, no, that's super pedestrian for my class. You cannot rule over a people with your, your elite group of friends. Mm. The bank MDs also have their own class of people that yeah. they will serve. And you must be realistic in this country. You cannot come here and say, no, it's his fault, it's not mine. You are the CBN governor. You know that the smallest business goes to the core of advantage. your economy. Yeah. Yeah. What did you do? You then went into your officials down somewhere. I have the director of the CBN. I went and made videos. And everybody started shouting as if, no, the banks are the only guilty ones. Did you give enough time? Did you not put down policy? You okay. combined a limit to transfer with a cash uh, with a change, yeah. cash swap so, arrangement. So, so that's, that, that's one. Yeah, so. absolutely right. So there are two ways. So the CBN also, obviously, in the execution of the policy, didn't do well. Yes. But we're also, talk, we're also addressing the fact that if, even though the the have policy. Time, you have money in your vault, on what basis would you not put in the ATM? That's another conversation. So, um, of course, I feel that... Um, the CBN has policies, whoever is caught will be penalized. I'm sure the bank, this specific bank, that... There are multiple banks, so. yeah, yeah, multiple. The, the, uh, but when, you, when they say lots of them, it's not up to 10% of the banks. Like when you... Did they go to all the banks? That's no, another they, thing. Went, they went to the majority of the In the cities. It's not all that they recorded and posted. Yeah. Yeah. Some they recorded, some yeah. they didn't yeah. post. Because when, when, um, when, when, we, when we put policies, when we put videos like this, so uh, one, totally wrong. Banks should not be holding money. Banks should not be complicit in causing more hardship to the people. The bank is culpable in causing this crisis with this video yeah. evidence. That is on one side. And I feel that um, the bank took advantage and I feel heads should roll. We talk about it when there are no cause, strong consequences. People will get away with doing anything. Right. Impunity will happen. So the strong consequence for me would be that the, the person in charge of the treasury of the branch should actually be losing his or her job because you are the one in charge of the money you are the one in charge of okay, how the money okay, is being so by, so by, uh, before, we, before we say that, I'm thinking, isn't there, is it possible for, for you to go to multiple banks and find that all the banks are holding? Was there a general information that was sent to all, all the, the banks? banks. It's not Many all the of the banks, banks were. So it's not, we, we can't say that because I, I, according to what we got, the information that the press released by the um, association, let me quote them well, according to the statements written by the association of... Um, of corporate affairs managers of banks. Okay. The statement was signed by Rashid Bolaniwa that the um, cashless policy, they are not, they did not hold cash, that they understand the hardship being faced. Also, the senior, sta the senior staff of banks and other financial institutions at the weekend condemned the attack on banks and staff as a result of their scarcity. Mm -hmm. So, the state, the, the, a few people will take advantage. But it doesn't mean that all the banks were culpable. Okay. And so we must highlight Top those. Top that, Top Top there's also a, they should mention their names 
and say I believe that this branch, is the discipline. Yes, this branch, branch in this place, we found money, money. being stopped. Okay. Okay. And there was no money in their ATM. For, so that so we can properly deal it. with the so rest of the that background yes, knowledge no, that, that I have. I had a conversation with my own bank account, account officer, because mm -hmm. I really needed cash. And he said that every day, when the money comes in, there's a specific uh, percentage that goes into ATM. Um, ATM and there's a specific percentage that they're allowed to pay out over the counter. And they cannot do more than 5,000 mm. or 10,000 per person. So I needed more than that. And they said, I cannot work. get it. Because the money finishes even before 12 o'clock. So that's a CBF so, so factor. So that's a CBF factor. That's where I have a problem. And then you go, then you then go. Maybe a bank just received an amount. I went, tried to get cash the very first week. And the branch that I went was given a million daily of the new notes from their zona no branch. Money. Because they have more customers, mm. and then they couldn't meet up. Of course, you will have once there's scarcity, you have people scampering, scam, mm -hmm. scampering yeah. around for it outside. Mm. And the bank was say, and Madam, even I tried with all the influence to please get at least half a million off the counter. This is not possible. It's not going to happen in this branch. I couldn't even get thirty thousand. I had to leave. And then you come around, you do videos of the vault as if, what if they just took delivery of the cash? Every day, bullion of us are moving cash. Yeah. What if they just took delivery of the cash? And you made a video, you make it seem like, no, the CBN is all, uh, our hands are clean, no. Is the banker, or is the banker put the cameras in their faces? Mm. Let me go on a quick break. Let's go on. When we come back, we'll continue with this conversation and open our phone lines. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. To staying with us, we're still discussing the holding of the new Naira notes. You say you're going to say something, yes? Yeah. So, I think this is my personal opinion. I may be wrong, but that's what I think, and I stand by what I think. So, I think the CBN governor is playing Nigerians. I think what just happened with you know, touch lighting banks that had money in the vault is throwing them under the bus. Monies were not printed adequately in the first place because they had a plan to mop up money from Nigerians and they didn't have a plan to refurbish them with new notes. So let's take for instance they wanted to mop up about two trillion from outside mm. into the banking system. They printed only about one trillion or even less than that. So that people will be cash trapped. The only which is okay for what they want to do, you know, trying to uh, find a way to solve the issues of corruption, which is fantastic. But they forgot the poor people. They did not consider them in the first place. Now you want it, it's like two elephants are fighting and the grass is the one suffering. The poor people are the grass right now. You wanted to deal with corrupt people, but you know these corrupt people. You know how you can trace them. You know how you can get their accounts. Every money that is being moved does not go without the CBM knowing about it or sanctioning it. You could have gone directly to them, called their names if you have the full chest, and leave poor people alone who are doing their daily businesses. Yes, yes. And even if you decide to go through this route that you are going through right now why don't you ensure that those banks in those places those local places those who have just little amount of money are able to get the cash we won't have faced these issues even if you say people like us you see, for instance no hold on you say for instance the middle class they have our account details they know how much we have right the middle class will not be able to get cash you people can transact with ATMs and do your transfers. But you see those people who are market women, you have their records. Make sure that they are able to get money across the counter or the ATMs. That's where they faulted and because they did not consider the poor people in this policy, they did not print enough money. Mm. They should not blame the banks for having money in their vault. Right. Those banks could have received that money just before giving it out when they came and it's touched like them. I have a call us in holding for you. Good morning, are you there? Oh, I'm so sorry. I lost so just as BC said, the policy was in three phases. They say they want to mop out, mop back cash that was not in their cost, uh, within their domain. Yeah. It was too much cash in the system. They wanted to mop it up back. Yes, so they did that. And then they limited what we could withdraw. And then they did a Naira swap at the same time. At the same time. That's and now much. you now come and say, put cameras in bank staff faces that they are holding the cash in their vaults, that they did not release cash. Whereas 
when you go to the ATMs that are non-banks, it's 5,000 per person. If you don't finish for the ATM, you finish. They will uh, continue to load till they run out of cash and they wait the next day. Are you telling us that you're so efficient that every other day or the very next day, they were you will leave them money. cash? Mm -hmm. So. Or that you were, you were actually deliberate about swapping the old cash for new cash by providing only new cash constantly. Whereas the votes that they showed, the people did not look well. The new notes are small. The old notes that they are still mopping up in plenty. Look at this one I we are said, showing now. now. So, so what exactly are you I saying? Love, I love how our victim. conversation has gone because the easiest thing and what we've seen most on social media is people saying, oh, the banks are corrupt people. The banks are... The banks are taking advantage. The banks are exploiting people. I'm not notes. totally absolving the banks exactly, because, because I feel strongly they that complicit. they are also the, yeah. the ones. These ones they are showing are also complicit yeah. to an extent. But I understand what I believe that is that this what CBN is trying to do is to defend themselves and throw somebody under the bus. That's what they Let do. somebody take responsibility take for. Yeah. So these people should take the fall, not understanding the fact that we are putting the lives of bankers at well, risk. Yeah. That's on one side. On the Talk other side that. is that, for me is that. Aside from um, banks, the, the, the banks' issues, is that we've seen new notes outside in such a way that it does not carry the label of the bank, which means people are getting monies from Directly CBN. from CBN. There's a racket from inside CBN, and that should also be investigated. So if you are bringing out the, the banks that are keeping the money, also bring out the CBN How did you notice that? That are bringing, because the monies you see at parties, and mm. all of them, they don't carry... Yes. Do the yeah. bank logos. Logo I, hear, have banks. See? I hear that there's one, there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a very popular woman, I don't know her, I just hear his gist, <laughs> that she's the one, she's the major racket, the yeah, CBN. That gets... she, she brings it out. Hmm. And oh, gives to all these people. She now they need to find out where because and they, not... so, there are big people who have been doing this for years. That's she's built a business around this. So CBN two also should carry their cameras within the CBN they vault. Know how. See how that money is also getting out. Let me take this call services. from um, Avoko. I think it's Yakub. Come on, Yakub, are you there? Yeah, well, I am there. Good morning. You're live. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, no one mentioned that test rule. I think this is my own personal opinion, Mario. If X rule, it should start from the central bank governor. Although I, I don't, I'm not surprised. It's a second way I buy it. It's only this country I've ever seen a central bank governor trying to become a president. After he fails to so get the ticket of the party, he now, he now begins to promote all this kind of charade, all this kind of thing. But let's have ourselves a question here. How many these new notes get to bank it? A lot of these new notes, I, I watch it on the TV. A lot of these notes get to a bank it that inside the bush, a lot of corruption is ongoing. I especially have that, especially our president needs to do the mission. I just think that we have a president that is so proactive that now the central bank government is proactive. Back. That is the truth. Because the reason is this he has failed, his competence is here. Let me tell you, all the people that this so called seller market, the uh, uh, woman seller, is set up in the market. By this time, go to market, Morayo, this is the problem this can these people are passing for even the building the street seller. Everybody are passing through her. In order for you to see what the level is in is that it's trying to the market for particular president candidate. That is the truth. And then they are going to play one play like what well, that's for the particular president they are trying to the market. Thank you very much, Jacob. But my, my worry is that why can't the president call him to order? I think for the 14 or 12 governors, I need to go and see president on Friday. Just, uh, Friday. On Friday. Yeah, but, uh, why is it impossible for the president or the National Assembly, the senators, to intervene in this situation? Oh, yeah, for the extension, the president had to intervene. Yeah. But he is the economist. Who should be advising the well, president? Our vice president who is in charge of the economy. No, 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 no. no. The board that has the CBN reports to the president. In, yeah, I know. In, in yeah. financing, in economy, and all of that, is the CBN <laughs> governor. That's a lot is of the money. CBN governor. That's a lot of money that is in that vault yeah, right there. So this is a lot of new notes. But the other one we had more, more old, old notes. notes. So I feel uh, that while we, the, the, we know all of us agreed that the policy on paper was good, it is when we saw the reality of the cash crunch. In, on our lives as individuals that we realize that, oh, we cannot suddenly go cashless. Mm. Um, we're trying to, uh, I'm planting yams. Okay, so our plan is to plant, plant 60,000 tubers of yam, yams be, by March. To get the shooters for the yam, we're going to the villages, and the villages don't collect transfer. Mm. And we're paying them hundreds of thousands of naira, which we have to do via cash. So how do we get the cash when there's no cash around? I mentioned... I wanted to clear a land. For two weeks, we've not been able to clear. I've paid 
the supervisor to clear the land. Till now, he can't withdraw. Supervisor say he cannot withdraw money. Would I give him 60,000 naira so mm -hmm. that he can use to withdraw 300,000 naira? I say, how? Why would I be buying money to pay? And exactly. that's how they've been doing. So if you want to pay a vendor money now for doing a job for you, you will not give him 3,000 naira extra so that he can withdraw it yeah. from the POS. That, that, that's, the, that's the way the people... That's costing us more money. Money that the CBN said they printed in the bank. You are not giving, you're going to sell it to me. At because because you you made this card. Is that not why we're buying dollars? Yes. yes. We're buying dollars. Let me so take Kasa. Go is economy, those, is those economy in, in, in Bene, in, at the border, buying safe and safe. Let me take Hassan. Good morning, Hassan. Are you there? Good morning, for us. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Look, it seems uh, people decided not to change so much. Hmm. You see this election. I've been talking about this for the past eight years. Just mind, it's not supposed to be there. And the way people are talking that banks are not comfortable. The number one yes, enemy of Nigeria are banks. And electorate is from banks. So how do you differentiate between the two? Look, this guy is from PGC. He was brought, he was for object into everything. And PGC is PGC. And he's working against Everything is coming now. Look, we know what is happening. Look, forget about all you giving. That they are selling to Buhari. You understand? The concept is well known to us. You understand? This issue of concept. But the intention is very, very faulty. The intention is to get at our party APC and run it down. And they will never succeed. <laughs> All right, so I mean, the I last two callers are saying that the banks are culpable. A few banks are culpable, but not all banks. And we mustn't just generalize based on a few videos we've seen. And the few videos did not highlight the number. We didn't give us. They didn't give us statistics. We're talking about CBN. They are the, they are the headquarters of numbers. So they're supposed to say we visited a hundred banks. Mm -hmm. Ten banks were found with. A, lot, a, a large amount of money in their vault that they had gotten a few days back that they did not release. Like, give data specifically. Don't just do what social media people do. Don't do what people on reporters, our, what we are condemning online. Mm. Just bring a camera and say, as you are saying, there is money. That's what lay people, people, people in the streets, people illiterate will do the same thing. You are a director in the CBN. Give us data. These are the banks. This is their branch. This is the punishment for them. We're not letting them go scot-free so that you will feel the confidence that CBN is defending me. CBN should not just throw somebody out so that we will feel bad and we'll be distracted yeah. from calling them out. We're not like that. We're not going to be distracted. Let me take this call. Not to know that. Even the old notes were, were commodities that people bought. Mm. So how did the people who sell, sell them at parties enter the business of buying and selling exactly. notes? It's a business. It's a business. And they had syndicates that were doing yes. it before. Let for me take years. this call from Aminu, not come from Yola. Good morning. Boss. Good morning. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's unfortunate, Nigeria. Uh, we 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 feel everything we can we can make money out of it. I don't know if we wake up one day and say to the tomato seller too is 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 holding his product for for us not to eat food. It's unfortunate. But however, one thing must be certain: the bank must be accountable. I don't deposit my money in central bank. They should understand my monies are deposited with them. Mm. If it has not been given to me, it is their responsibility to query the central bank and take them to whatever level they want to. Right. But I'm their customer. I'm not the customer to central bank. Exactly. Mm. So they must, somebody must take responsibility of my deposit. Mm. That is why I deposited money with. I'm a Muslim. I don't, I don't buy money. I don't sell money. I cannot buy money. I will sell money. I'm a Muslim. It's haram in my religion. So somebody, the bank must take responsibility. It's not about central bank. They should query the central bank. They should have meetings. They all see. Moray, do you have to... I think, I think that, that, that's a very strong point. I mean, you're saying that the truth is that we are, we are customers of the banks. So banks should have that responsibility to us to put those well, new notes in the ATM. All, all hands are not equal. You are a customer, your entire money that you have, do, you have done in transaction with the bank for the entire 10 years you've opened the account, it did not reach 1 million. 
and some other people, their everyday transaction is in the millions, so there will be priorities, and you cannot... But, and, 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 and that priority is where, is where we also have to beyond, consider... Beyond I'm also going to break, Nima, but this, these priorities are also part of the issue we're having, because a rich man who has maybe 10 billion in your account can call you and say, I need 10 million naira, which is all the money just in, and you don't bring 5 million naira, you know, see him. the rich men are feeling it now, they can't get it. That's the truth. Let's go on a break. <laughs> when we come back, we continue with our conversation and take a few calls. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thank you for staying with us. We're still discussing this holding of Naira. I'd like to take a few calls. You can call us on 0812 You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. Nima, you're going to say something before you... I think I have a call actually. Hold on a second. Good morning, Dende. Are you there? Oh, uh, good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Thank you very much. I have to wait. Because what we are talking about, what we are discussing today, is of great interest today. Uh, let me call in a talk. I'm talking from the background of a veteran banker. At least I, I have been able to witness that I form a change of uh, currency during my own time. I'm not sure we are doing justice to this topic today. There is no excuse for you to have to find that kind of cash you are taking. No matter if you are just if you are just very even from CPS right now. No, there is no time for putting that kind of cash on the floor in the bank back in all now. What is happening is just the truth about our actions and behavior as Nigerians. In everything we do, the Nigerian factor will come in. No banker has been trained when people are waiting outside that way, and people are just there screwed up in the banking you know, that somebody is probably this cash is just coming. No, 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 there's some chance for all that. Because you are so sure at that time that there is somebody waiting with the manager, discussing how the salary of the staff has not been paid. Somebody is at the counter there, helping the baby. So you if the cash was coming in from here, I can assure you, inside that banking, inside that uh, uh, control room, people are here just trying to to share the money, I prefer the money to different demands that have been waiting for that for me. Believe me, everything is wrong with our banking industry now. Yeah. Look, when we are not in this trouble, have you been seeing the new moves outside? There has been an attitude of selling Naira when they are new. And because we have not been able to curtail that, that's why you never see, for me, I will be telling you, have you been seeing our 200 Naira outside in Nigeria? The only time you would say to me at the party. So okay. it is like they can't stop that business for now. They want the business to continue as usual. But not when Nigeria are in a hurry to get this thing up. So I think the banking industry, uh, government needs to come heavily, use some of them as scapegoats, treat them accordingly as saboteurs of our economy. Probably they will find solutions to this. Thing. Thank you very much, Adindin. So, so I was going to respond to the earlier caller Adam, when he talked about that his relationship is with the banks. And, you know, sadly, the bank owed him that responsibility. He didn't contract anything with the central bank. But the central bank as a regulatory body tied the hands of the banks. Yeah. And now they put cameras in the faces of bank staff, put, risking their lives. We saw a video, the one that, you know, I, I shared, of boys attacking the bank staff after close of work. People lay sage to banks. We, have, we saw banks being stoned and broken in Ibado. CBN is now treating the matter as if, no, our own hands are clean, no, just see yeah, the culprits wrong. there. Mm. As a regulatory body. Very that's wrong. wrong. Do you people want to burn down this country? Exactly. So what would you rather CBN do? I mentioned it. Which is, still post the video or not post the video? Post, you can mention, post the video, mention the bank, mention the branch, specify that this is the punishment we'll make at them taking. so that you don't let people now carry out jungle justice on the officer officials there. And you can so people know that this is branch. our own 
um, how we are handling the issue and how we are preventing it from hurting it's you in the future. Yeah. Also, let's know the percentage of banks that are holding the money as opposed to, so that people will not feel like all banks are holding the money. Because when I saw the video, I called my accountant and said, guy, you guys have money. I'm going to move my money like I have plenty of money to move inside the bank. I was just doing But he said the truth is every day that before 12 noon, they have exhausted new notes money. and they are not releasing old notes because so they're not allowed to. So these are probably specific banks. So and in some specific <laughs> locations. So you put it out there so that people will not get the wrong ideas. Yeah. See, that must come to equity. If the CBN's hand is clean, and trust me, good. you would have had sanctions by now. But they know that their hand is not clean. You cannot give me money that is not enough for half of my customers. What and then the you are chastising me they for what? Sanctions. Way. No, hold on. You are chastising me for what? I don't have enough money. That vote that you saw, it could be that they just dropped the money. We've not had time to share it Thank before you. they came and they captured it. You you have, you're, not giving me, you're not giving me enough money. So what do you want me to share my blood? There is no um, um, policy that the banks will carry out without the signing off of the CBN. Uh -huh. So let's not separate them. Two of them are in this together. They should tell us the truth. We don't have enough money. We're going to try as much as possible to ensure that the people who need it for their daily transactions will get it more than those who, can, who have other options. That's what I want them to hear. Not that they want to sanction who. Okay. Sanction who? Banks have branches. They have zonal branches. They have... Uh, uh, headquarters they have, you know, level day bank. Yeah. You don't go to the bank, the vault of a headquarter or a zonal branch mm. and say that they have this amount of money. Whereas in the in the small, the, the, the lowest of the bank, bank, maybe the neighborhood branch, that's that's no the, gets one million of new notes daily. You are not there with your camera. You say the vault has this amount of money. The CBN has not mentioned where they are doing videos from. Mm -hmm. What are spending money the most? CBN who also owe the responsibility to protect bank staff in this are the ones putting them out there mm. without protection if, if, if cbn say that they can mop up after the 17th old notes from their headquarters in, in any cbn uh, in any yeah. cbn uh, yeah. office within states cbn yeah. too can give us new notes in those offices let's that go is? to tinubu square and collect money mm -hmm. new, uh, yes and collect new notes CBN can intervene in this matter more than one million ways, but they chose to do this one and say that raising banks are putting photos but, in their faces. But in, in, let, let, let them, let me there are sanctions they can they do. Are, I'm not saying they shouldn't sanction banks all... who do not, who has notes and they didn't put it in the vault. Hey. That was not the time. If you get to the bank <laughs> at 12 and they have notes in their, at 12 uh, p.m. in the afternoon and they have notes in their vaults in a local whatever branch and you're saying uh, this, oh yeah, now I'm watching when you now move. It? To the ATM, you mm -hmm. supervise exactly. that. That's and what you I report expected. to Nigerians. Not that you do video, video and it looks all dark as if you are doing that. But I feel that we can't please Nigerians because even because I understand that well, this time last week, the risk of week, bank, this, bank has been beaten and killed. Week, that this is time my last fear. week. This time last week, we're all blaming CBN, mm. and CBN is saying, "Okay, I have put out money there. So we don't believe you now. I'm, I'm sending my personnel and ICP, ICPC, to the EFC to go out, out and, and see and get evidences that indeed I have given them money and given them cash. They've not done a video. We're not complaining. Don't do the video. Come with data. We Come with information. Oh, yeah. So we need, see, see, we need information. Yeah. Mariah, let me tell you. If your child, child, if your child, child makes a mistake outside, do, do you go and expose your child outside? You will go there and do the correction. What I expected is you get to that place. You are seeing money in the vault. Oh, yeah. Start loading it into the... How many ATMs do you have here? No, 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 no. What's the remaining one? Oh, yeah. Let's yes. transfer to the next branch. So we load it into the ATM. Money. So if we had seen that video... Is it possible they did we, that? Uh, no, they did not do it. They did not do video like that. If we had seen that video, that would, that would have told us that they are working for us. They are not putting anybody under the bus. They are not pushing anybody under the bus. Do that video and follow up. Then let us receive news that, okay, this ATM is now dispensing. That ATM is dispensing. That's being a proactive leader. Don't, okay, they finished the video now. Shabi, they went home. That oh, one is still not busy, in the vault. Busy, no, no, I don't, I don't, no, no, come on now. Then come let come back. on, relax. <laughs> they make sure that listen, it's spread. Let's not speak like, mm, relax. Mm. There's no way an official will see that money in the vault and will not ensure that money is transferred to the ATM because you don't see the video of that happening. That's doesn't the video mean it we happen. Need. And that's the video they, put, they posted. Doesn't mean that they're not actually ensure they, 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 they put the money in the, in the ATM. There's a possibility. We don't have the video. We, don't, we can't say categorically that they, they only inspected, recorded, and went home. No, that's what you saw based on the video you saw. Hi, Wait, hi, 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 hi. Let me tell you this Hi. No, I'm just telling you that it's impossible. Hi, but either way, half -truth either now. way, and it's half truth across the But either yes. way, we don't have evidence of ATMs across there's, the country. How many ATMs there have in this country? See, we can conclude what you just said. Ah. There are certain safe conclusions. There are certain unsafe conclusions. Mm. You put a camera in somebody's face. You show the notes. You do that. And That's you say a that. different conversation. You put, wait, you ask for their names. 
the one, there's one particular yes. thing that says it. You ask for the yes. names of the staff yeah. who, who are they already risking their life. That's how they, all the bank staff got COVID that year. Yeah. You put it in their faces, you got all of that. You did not put it on your own face. You mentioned names. And then you left the bank. You did not tell us, I'm taking back these notes. Under this authority, this is what will happen to yes. this bank. You did not say, oh, I'm going to ensure. Yes. Or you did not take over bank business that day. I say, I'm standing here. Everybody on the queue get in. Come and withdraw. Begin loading it. You did not do that one, no. You just do video say, now get mm. What if they did? They did not. Why, why did you release it. the one that you did not do? Why did you release the one that will risk their lives? That people waiting outside will decide to kill them, oh, stone right. them, Let me burn down branches. When they start cutting away money, that's when you know the risk of what you did. You know the adults. Right, I'm a baby. You should guess. Let me take this call. Good morning. Are you there? Talking nonsense. All set, Nima. You're live. Go ahead, please. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, you're live. Okay. okay. So, uh, please listen to the TV, not the TV. Listen to the phone, not the television. Talk to me. Yes, please go ahead. You're live. I already you know what I kept me waiting for what for hours. I first minute. I do apologize. Go ahead, please. So what, what I want to say, my name is Mr. Kirako Tunaji. Yes, sir. Welcome um, to just watching, I was just watching that everybody in this country, it's a country with that formula. You are what I'm saying. A lot of things go wrong. Believe it, we are the grassroots. If one Nara, 20 Nara comes, 20,000 are going to our pocket today, 20,000 uh, 20, new notes, we are holding it, waiting for the last day. Man, all of, many of us are not sending it. We are keeping it to the last day so that we begin to spend it. But that is uh, more of the reasons. This morning, I'm not in circulation. I understand what you are doing, and those all of you are taking there. Yeah. But most importantly, it's a game is that. Oh, sugar, we lost Mr. Naji, but thank you very much. He's also agreeing with what we've seen so far. Let me take this call. He's talking family. about Nigerians also getting the new notes and not doing it, not spending it, so that yeah. it's in circulation. Mm. Yeah. He's saying that Nigerians too. When they get 20,000 naira, you know, the first one go and keep That's it. That's true. The one that I spent on call, is not biting me now. You know what? I carry 70k, See, I want to go and this, spend. This now I, I don't have. have. I have, 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 have about 10k new notes. I've been holding it too. <laughs> so it's the only one that I've got. I need to cost me that. I'm keeping it. I refuse to spend that one. Let me spend the other one. On Thursday, I spent my own. So it's a On Thursday, I was leaving the house. I wanted to go out. I had just 500 naira. I wanted to see my mom. So I called a friend, okay, please, just give me 50,000. Let me put it in my business and use so I can withdraw. She was like, ah, me, man, no, me, so I can't spend. So okay, give me transport fare. She gave me 2,005. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's watching. My friend. I'm sure she's watching. You gave me 25. Huh? She was the one who paid the fare for me to go. I had a boss. Mm. Even you know, my friend's this, party, this where country, no balance. I gave her 2,000 naira. Yeah. Yeah. She, she yeah. had to waste my own country. Well, now sharing 2 to 1 1 K. I gave Mary I was begging for money to go out. I've been holding that one case. You have not spent that money. I've not spent it. Because a mere has we have been a mere yeah. Let me take this call from Femi. Good morning, Femi. Are you there? Oh, it's Usman. I do apologize. Good morning, Mr. Usman. Um, good morning. You're live. Yeah. Sorry, um, I wanted to uh, well, my point I wanted to give out, someone had just put out that point. Some of us citizens but we are actually hoarding. Nigerians, we need yeah. we need to be considered of others, exactly. when, especially when there is scarcity. I've seen this during when there's fuel scarcity, and you see that is when people want to buy more. People want to fill their tank, even get their returns, and you know, store their houses with fuel. Same thing with this naira note. You learn to allow others have. Yeah. When they say get ten thousand naira or five thousand naira, I think if they're not for today, you go around. During scarcity, that is when Nigerians want to have everything for themselves, not exactly. caring for. That's the point Thank I you very much, Usman. So the point is that if I have influence in a bank, so I know the bank's manager, and I call the bank, please, oh, I need a millionaire. Ah, Mariah, I can't give you one million. Let me, let me try 300,000 naira for you. And I take that 300,000 naira new notes and I keep it. Now, is that hoarding? That's hoarding. No? You keep it because you have, have an option. Buy. You have to buy. It. That's why they should not give to people like us who have an option. You give people to those people who need, who need it thing. daily yeah. to buy the bole, buy plantain, roast, sell yeah. bole, go back, buy, right, right. you know, people so who have... So that thousand shouldn't be given to somebody who... shouldn't be given to like Ooh, you yeah. because you have an option. So I take my card, I walk into a store, I... Okay, now I have to, I can't go yeah. to the open market yeah. because I don't have cash. But I can walk into a place like Ebino yeah. and buy uh, vegetables and everything yeah. and pay with my yeah. card. Yeah. So people like us, I'm not even speaking for us, we yeah. don't need this cash right now. Mm. Let's sort out those people on the streets who, who are daily it. pay yeah. wage earners who so need it. That means the bank staff should have this understanding. What you said earlier, which, which I didn't really I dig deeper in, is you're saying that you should want to categorize your, your customers. Yes. These ones 
they can have the um, online transactions because yes. they have but I don't know if the CBN has that data. We have that. Those they should have it. So, have it. so, so those who, so those who, so even the banks do. So these brackets or this brand of people, brand of people should be attended to urgently. Yes. Because they are the ones that actually need, that the, need the cash. That, that, that shows me I that you are thinking for your that, people. Yeah. Yes. Every true leader must think for the majority yeah. of the yeah. people. The elites me, can find a way yeah, around it. it. They have options. Let me so take Medina. I'll come to you, Niman. Let me take Medina. I've been holding for a minute. Good morning, Medina. Are you there? Good morning, Mariah. You're live. Thank you. Please, um, my honor, this thing, just to just look for a way to settle these things. We are suffering. Please, it's too much. You think our government should be more healthy as possible for this country? When you make policies, then you don't follow up the policies. There's no adequate plan. People are suffering. We should just try and do something about it. Thank you, Medina. You guys are doing well. Thank you. Go ahead. There's a bank yeah. within the market that, you know, daily knows how much their customers will withdraw in the morning. When they are done with their transactions, they'll come and put in their money safely before bank closes. Sometimes they even help them. They have a holding. So that after bank closes, they'll still help them keep the cash. Yeah. And then the next morning, they do the transaction. So you know those kind of so customers. Those kind of people should be When they're too down come, you tell them, hey, hey, post ah, cash. Yeah. And you know that that person's business will not move. Yeah. In trade fair, they have banks like that. They know mm -hmm. that's how their customers work. Yes. They sell, they deposit safely, they come back in the money, take out their money, they buy, they pay, and they do their businesses. So you know those, you, the banks have those data. But the CBN is still limiting them, saying, give only this amount. Notwithstanding what they transact mm. with them. Yeah. Uh -uh, no, no. Let me take Kadri. Take Kadri. We need the Nigerians to call in to share your experiences because that's the only way government can actually really see what we are going through. Good morning, Kadri. Are you there? Oh, hello, everyone. Good morning. Can you guys hear me? Good morning, Kadri. Yes. Tell us the situation in Kaduna. Oh, it's the same everywhere. It's the same everywhere. But let me say something to you, Mariah. I want to ask you a very simple question. If you are a leader and you set up a policy that affects everyone, and you still have that uh, capability to put an end to it, what will you do? Why would the CBN put the policy that they know by themselves that is not going to work? Looking at the context of Kaduna, Kaduna said there are a lot of local government that we don't even have branches of banks. You can't even see banks. They would say CM, what we call POS. It's difficult for you to even see POS. So, Nera is not black market. For so you to assess Nera in Kaduna State, you have to go to the black market. I have to pay 4,000 Nera for, for 3,000 Nera. I pay 4,000 to 3,000 Nera. So if a messenger is telling Nigerians that I'm not going to extend, I'm not going to extend, you came before, you told us that you have done all your research and everything, this thing is going to work. January 30th, it's just like no going back. Every time you come back and you told us that you have, you have discussed with the president that this will extend 10 days of bail. February. Who does that? Exactly. This BM is discreet under a Mephilet leadership. It shows that the Mephilet is not the, the common man of course. The, 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 the Mephilet did not even think about the common man, the, 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 the market women. How, how do you want people to access uh, tomatoes? Okay, if I want to buy tomatoes or I want to buy pepper in the normal right. market place, people are going to use Thank you so much, Kadri. You're very correct. We, we, we also have to address the fact that some bandits claim to have the new notes. How are they getting the notes? So, mm. as we were saying earlier, that no, the Mephilet should also... They had the new notes. They had the whole... They had the whole vault. Sat with it and made videos of it. So, how does Carry band... So, obviously, there's somebody in the CBN. So, you that are carrying camera to banks. <laughs> you really <laughs> need to put camera within the CBN vault. He that because must somebody to equity. <laughs> it might not be... Um, Let's go with clean hands. Well, you know, how do the bandits get paid? Because they are exploiting the weakness of, of the people. people. yeah. You know, so people that are desperate, that they've had their loved one kidnapped, so kidnapped will find any way to get the new notes. They will buy the new notes to ensure they're able to release their loved ones. So, the bandit side, for me, is... Well, it, it, it's not, it's, it's, the average person shouldn't be bothered about that because really you cannot do what those people did to get the new notes that they have and we don't want to encourage it. What we just want is we want to see that our government feels what we're feeling mm. and they are able to provide short-term solutions to the problems that the average Nigerian Can we is. provide alternative suggestions to what CBN is trying to achieve? So one of their um, key points is they want to avoid vote buying or maybe doing the elections. No, can you provide more security to stop people from doing that? I mean, if that is one of your objectives, 
You don't want people to have cash. You don't want to be able to be having people carrying Magana must go up and down. Understandably. But what can you do? What, what, what is the alternative to ensuring that you have enough security to avoid that from happening you if you want a free and fair election? You can't have productive uh, policy like this one. If you make this scarcity persist by elections, if they give somebody 1,000 naira, new or old note, you know even but you can buy something with it. Will you not sell vote? <laughs> Let me take this call from Sadiq. Good morning, Sadiq. Are you there? Hello, good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Thank you. I'm calling from Kano State. Well, go ahead. You're live. Thank you. Um, my whole contribution this morning is that um, uh, you're listening to the TV. Sadiq, are you there? I really wanted to hear that because we really like to hear from Nigerians across the country. What are you going through? I was having dinner with somebody from Abuja on Saturday and she was saying that she didn't really have a lot much of cash. Cash wasn't, cash, cash wasn't so bad in Abuja. I mean, mm -hmm. I guess that's the center of power. And there were, there were at least there were some ATMs that were dispensing all the new notes. So oh. she didn't have much of a problem. That was her own experience. I said, we here in Lagos, so we don't have really cash. Different. So there, there are different customers. people across the country that might have different experiences. Please call in the numbers on your screen so that we can hear your own experiences. Do you have anything on social media you want to share? Yeah, but okay. Ivy says people are going through a lot seriously. Heavy pictures, um, and and this is actually if this actually continues, I don't even know how people would uh, definitely survive this because we because to get cash from POS is tough, and all these POS agents are shutting down their businesses because there's no cash to run their business. Statement of fact, I can feel you. Okay, let um, me take um, Sherry from Kano. Good morning, Sherry. Are you there? Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Hello, hello, Sheriff. Are you there? I can't hear that. Yes. Sorry, sorry. It's really muffled. He's blaming the central bank that you're the one making the money and you're the one regulating the se sector, and yet it's not going out. So, uh, Any other comments, Sasha? Okay, I was I was going to take one quickly. Sultan says the masses are the worst hit by this cash scarcity. The masses use low denominations more. The central bank and the banks should start to push out 100, 50 naira, 20 naira, and 10, 10 naira and 5 naira notes in their vaults and print more lower notes. That should take care of the crisis. As I'm suggesting, um, suggested downloads. All right, we have to wrap up on this, but I think that that's all we can take on this segment. You know, I'm hoping that I think I read in the paper somewhere that um, the Speaker of the National Assembly is going to reconvene again. I think he mentioned it uh, when he was on weekend in Lagos uh, over the weekend, saying that they need to have another meeting on this matter. We cannot mm -hmm. continue like this. The truth is that we need the new notes to be dispensed in the ATMs and accessible to especially communities where many of them are far from the banks and they deal mostly in cash. And also, based on what uh, Bissi was suggested, suggested earlier, that those of us who transact online, we have ATMs, we have, we have um, POS, we have um, the cards, ATM cards. We are the ones that we can actually manage without so much cash on our hands. But there's a band of Nigerians who desperately need that cash. Based on the data that the banks have, you have to be able to trace and know this business. Many of these banks already have relationships with their customers. They know everybody who is banking with them, the kind of person is banking with them. You can have an idea who needs the cash, and those should be prioritized over the rich folks or buyers that is calling you and saying, please send 10 million naira to my account. Mm -hmm. That is what we are telling you. That's where you become a patriot. That's where you become a Nigerian. That's where you come with your humanity comes and say, you know what, these guys are more priority than those. That's, I think that's all we can take on this segment. When we come back, move on to our next segment. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.
thanks for staying with us. So earlier today, we had seen a front page paper of Punch where children, primary school, public school pupils were sitting on the floor. And then begs the question of where is the UBEC funding, the support funding for basic education across the country? Where, did, where is it going? And what are the plans for also the state government and the local government to ensure they have, um, they, they provide adequate infrastructure for basic education. That's our conversation. You can call us on the numbers on your screen, 081-270-536-870-913907694. You can also tweet us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweet. As Nima said earlier, we'll not, we'll not talk too much about the, 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 the Lagos states or the states that are actually having serious intervention because I know that Edo is one. Edo state, Lagos states are two, one of the two we'll states. Edo. Even Quara states, many of them are doing quite a bit, but the, uh, the, the conversation is really more around UBEC because their job is to support the basic education and also local governments. What are your thoughts on this? You can call us on those numbers on the screen. Let me, who would like to go first? I mean, it's, it's quite sad. And to, to help set the tone, um, I was trying to go some, do some research and UBEC was, um, was signed into law 2004 and it was an intervention fund. So what they do is they take 2% of the community statutory releases from the federal government, and that's where they get their money from. Now, the states must show they can actually have a counterpart funding. So if I give you the money, if you can show in your account that you can, you can afford it, then they give you a counterpart funding, and then you have that to fund basic education. You can now use that for infrastructure. What many people don't know is that when UBEC now gives you the money, a percentage of that also goes into administrative, which they handle. Mm -hmm. So for example, UBEC mm -hmm. also will say, ah, I'll give you books. I give you this from the money they gave you. Yeah. Wow. You have to use their own books. You have to use their own training trainers. So they still take a percentage for themselves for all that. But that's even besides the point. But the point is that the funding you get, what do you use it for? So this punch report was very very detailed. According to them, the reporter had to go in disguise <coughs> as a worker of an NGO, an international NGO, and he visited the schools. Mm. He learned that you know that the schools. Were not, did not have enough teachers. The management of the school had to source teachers outside who were paid by parents. So the students, the students who come to school under a free primary basic education policy only for their parents to end up paying. Okay. Edo particularly that you talked about, they pay about 1,500 naira in a public school in Ibienafe, in my own uh, local government. Don't spoil our time. What does that have to do with 1,500 naira per student. To do what? They, for, for school fees. It's illegal. It's wrong. Hey, but it's happening. It's illegal. Who would investigate this allegation I received? The state government. So, as I said, we will not spare Edo. We have schools in Edo, in Edo North, where students sit on the floor. We have schools that have not received funding. So, we, let, let, let's not even talk about that one. Let's just talk about this one. This uh, punch report also showed that, you know, the state of toilets... In that school, is worse than you no, can you imagine. Have classroom. Is there toilet you want to have? Oh, you don't have classroom. Bring, I'll bring people from Edo, especially because I think Edo has the best. Give me somebody from my own place. Mm. Subeb chair. Let me talk to the Ubek, where, uh, Subeb, whatever, who is in charge of yes. Edo North, yes. who is in charge of EBA, who is in charge of South EBA. I want that person to call me. Okay, no problem. We'll, me get, we'll get them for see. you. But So let's talk about so education feels, and funding, basic it, education. It seems like today is a lamentation Monday on the show. Because we just finished lamenting banks and now we're lamenting education. Obviously, um, we have a challenge with our educational structure within Nigeria. Our government hasn't prioritized it enough. There's a lot of lip service, a lot of promise and commitment to the educational sector, but we're not seeing it. When it comes to diction, when it comes to speaking, when it comes to yes. arithmetic, it is done and finished in primary school. If somebody is going to speak well, it's from primary school. Yeah. If their maths will be good, it's from primary school. Yeah. If they would love reading, it's from primary school. Which, which for me, shows how important the primary school education system is. is. And yet, we have not prioritized the primary education mm. enough as a country. And we hear that some... And I, I, I took a story a few years ago, like, like I'm sure it was sometime in 2021, where there was a report about some states that have not accessed UBEC yeah. funds yes. because they did not provide counterpart funding. Exactly. And that state governor yeah. is campaigning, you know, probably wants to move from state governor to being in the Senate, Senate. right now, even though you have not accessed UBEC funds that is available for you because you do not provide counterpart funding. Yes. We have not And you can't provide counterpart funding if you don't have IGR to meet revenue. 
to make matches. So if you don't have one, I'm just saying it's other of priority. Don't mix it now. Don't bring IGA inside this matter. It's part of it now. Because the why if I'm listen, they get state allocation. Listen, 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 don't name If I get a state allocation, this amount, I'm paying salaries. I'm drawing health. I'm doing um, infrastructure. I'm doing other things. It might not be priority for me right now because I'm taking UBEC funding. Mm -hmm. Now, that UBEC funding, I must also have money in this same allocation to match it. For you to be able to match it, to develop, you have to have IGR. That's the only way you can meet up. If well, not, there's no so point. So, I've, I've, I've actually uh, seen uh, it. Also. It was in February last year that Serap raised the issue that there was hanging 51 billion Naira UBEC funds hanging yeah. that state governors did not pay a counterpart funding to release, to access it. Yeah. And that, for me, is a major problem. Okay. So that counterpart funding must equal the amount you're expected yes, to get. Exactly. Why, why did they make that policy so? So that how, each state... So that you know, each state... state you don't say it as a gift. State is meant to fund education. Yes. The UBEC is supporting Support the state. So if I give you two billion, you it must also that you provide pay. two billion so that the schools would access yeah. Five billion. If I billion. have two billion, why will I be coming to you in the no, first place? You are missing the point. You are meant to do it. It's your responsibility. If you have this, I'm supporting I will, you. I will then give you this one. Okay, to, to add to it. Okay. Then intervention. Okay. okay. So okay. now you are now saying, I don't have, sorry, no, that I'm bringing the IGR. I don't okay. have this IGR, so I won't do this. But I'll get my allocation and my priority will be just to pay salaries. You'll be governor soon. Uh -huh. Not be governor. Uh -huh. Hey, is it what it is? Yeah. So, 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 so the thing is, um, <laughs> we don't prioritize education for whatever reason. Yes. If okay. this Western education don't tire us, we should find a way to do traditional education. Even now I need money. No, no, no. No, no, let, no let's even start from somewhere. At least me, I read uh, nursery school with slate. It was slate that no, I was used. Right. And chalk. Yes, it was slate and chalk, I, chalk. That, that was yeah. used. And I learned in my local language and all of that. So if we cannot do Western education, that probably we do not have the resources for it, or we are not ready for it, can we go back to traditional means of education, at least in the primary level? It doesn't stop us from getting the basics that we need. It even equips us more because these children will now have to learn with their environment, things they can find in their environment. Let us redesign that one. But if we're insisting that this Western education is what we're going to do, can we do it well? Exactly. There's a standard amount of what you are going to allocate to okay. education in every budget. Yeah, yeah. Check. Check the budget let that me, we have. Let me, let me, we let, are not putting enough see, priorities. See, let, see, let, let's go back to the reason why UBEC was started in the first place. Mm. In the past, local government exclusively was in charge of basic education. It doesn't concern states. That's it doesn't concern be. anybody. Because the rule, rule true, true and true, local government, you are, you are, you are my local government chairman. It's your job to make sure that the schools, in the neighborhood schools, are functioning. Mm -hmm. They were not doing their job. So federal government now said, let us start a funding to support you. Is it so? Is it, is it an intervention? So, how much are you putting aside for the education? Whatever it is, okay, this is the fund. We're able to get 2% of the cumulative um, uh, for, for, for federal government. They give us that money. When we get the money, okay, we now share it. But for me to give you that money, you must, you must show, generate something. You must show that you can actually use this money. I don't want to dash your money. Mm. When you now show you, that you have the capacity, I will give you the money. Now, what are you doing with the money? FCT, for example, when you got your money, what did you use it for? Infrastructure. Did they give them did the you money? Did you raise it? Oh, they, maybe they, 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 they don't have the Now, they're <laughs> be you back. They're in the center. So, so maybe, so, so that's the problem. Have, you, you are opening walls. You are opening cars. Yes, now. I'm coming. Mm. Who rendered your local government redundant? Mm. It's government. Yes. Yeah. They took over state local government funds. We see they fight for the local government autonomy. Sign it all or they're not green. Houses of Assembly refused. So this local government, let's leave them. They cannot. But what is your budget? If your budget for education is 20 million, for instance, 2 million should be for UBEC, Abi. If you say you have tertiary, uh, other so. levels of education, maybe we'll share them equal. Yeah. Okay, that's your 2 million what you give for UBEC now. Yeah. You be, uh, it's for, for your own super, your yes, state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You better not support budget. another yes. two million. But you are saying that's not your priority. Mm. You are saying you have you want to do roads. because you can't, you don't have an idea. Mm -mm. The one that they are giving you from Federal, what are you going to do with it? They will build airports. Salaries. So, they will build airports. Uh, um, <laughs> and fire. then you, you are growing a, a, sorry, a population of uneducated, uneinformed mm. young children. Yes, yeah, so. so breathing time bomb. They are moving parts. for your children. They are, so, yeah, yeah, they are moving parts. parts. So Nigerian, uh, uh, we, what, what I've noticed with our politicians is our politicians mm. like to do, you know, we like to flag off projects. Mm. We like to go to Le state legacy. and say, we're flagging off legacy, legacy projects. Project. I built this bridge. Yes, I did this yes. one. They and I know this. that it's important to have infrastructure. But what we've seen is if you don't develop your human, your human capital, your 
physical infrastructure, they will damage it. Mm -hmm. The human beings you did not develop will damage. They said, Omota Abako, Omagbe, Ileta Bakota. That is a tip, is what we're seeing in Nigeria. We did not raise our children well. They destroy the buildings and the edifice you build, you build around. So when we prioritize physical projects beyond human development, we are showing that we don't care about our people, we don't care about our future, yeah. we don't care about our children. So um, UBEC, um, the UNICEF always releases reports. One in three children do not complete primary school in Nigeria. Yeah. One in three. Mm. So we school. have primary school. So what would happen to that one? Mm. They said between about 27% of children between 6 and 11 do not attend any school at all. We have an educational crisis. They yeah. become bandits. Yeah. They are easily going to become terrorists. Yeah. They are easily going to start stealing because they don't have any education me, for a better life. Let me take this comment, which I think is really important, from Mr. Tijani. He says that, he says, good morning, how are you? Trust you, Helen. Staff, Ubeck is a fraud. Ah. Staff working there are contractors only interested in money for their pockets and not any intervention fund. He says that UBEC is funded by 2% consolidation fund of all revenue made by the federal government. Money is not the problem of UBEC, but total sanitation and overhauling of the place. And that's why I say yes, we, must, we, must, we must do a review. Of UBEC You've had UBEC since 2004, was signed into law. Between 2004 and today, can we review how effective has UBEC been? The money you've been given for states, so have how, what have you done with it? Based on this punch report, we have reviewed UBEC. Because, because the place you can rate UBEC easy the most yes. is in the federal capital. And exactly. They have a school without yes. without now, toilets. This report Nima, says let me that shock you for a second. Leaky roofs. So tell us, which one are you using to pay salary? Who is it? Is it the funding you Nima, use to pay teacher salary this or same. provide infrastructure? They said the library in that school is as carcasses, torn books. Yes. Let me shock Leaky you, Nima. This is the back. They are trying to say how they can extend it, possibly to secondary school. So the problem is that we've not even seen how effective you've been mm. in the primary school. Uh, because they see how juicy. It's juicy. Mm. I send you money. Out of the money I give to you, <coughs> I, as you beg, I can say 40% or 20% of it was going to administrative. Mm. And you must, I'm, I'm going to send you and books. Books I don't need. For example, Lagos said now, the books they use, we have somebody who is providing their books, but you still, you might still see them send books. And insist. And they insist that, to do, go and do what? Okay, so the thing is, when we are accepting all of these agreements, we don't put our foot down. Once you hear, they will give us money. We don't wait to tick the boxes. These are some of the things that you should discuss. You can't be forcing us to take books when we have books. Are you saying we should exactly. abandon our books and just take your own books? Those are some of the conversations we must have. Then I want to ask a question, please. Whose headache is it when um, students in a locality are not going to school? Is it not the state? Thank Those you. children belong to the state. Shout. Why is the state not shouting? Why is the state not making noise? What is Ubeck? Ubeck is just coming to support. Mm. So leave Ubeck out of it. What is the state doing about their citizens, exactly. the, their children who are not going to school? But everybody's minding their business. After all, our own children are in their abroad. Everybody's minding their business. Let all our children come back here. Let us see if they are going to school, especially in that Abuja, if they are going to school in uncompleted buildings. So while we know that the Ubeck might have their own um, internal, like we, when we Short research comments. shortcomings, if you look at TED funds too, the university will tell you that Ted Fund started well. They did a lot of huge projects, but after a while, contract, Niger mm. the, hum the Nigerian factor enters into the contract. So we're not seeing equal amount of, like if they spend a billion, what you see on ground is not worth one billion. That can also be the case with UBEC. But UBEC themselves in 2020, la still last year, said that 50% of schools in Nigeria lack, lack furniture. So, and it is, they can't do anything on their own. UBEC is not meant to intervene. UBEC is meant to provide counterpart funding. So if states don't bring out money and say, give us funds, they cannot do it. Um, um, Serap highlighted Abia states, highlighted Kwara states, many states in, in Nigeria. Majority of the states in Nigeria have not accessed the counterpart UBEC funding from as far back as 2019. Oh. And this report was released in 2022. Based on what you so how are they funding now, education? They are not <laughs> developing any infrastructure. They are just paying salaries. So based on what you just said now, it will make sense if UBEC says to a state, what you need is furniture. Mm. And so what we are giving you, you must use for furniture. Okay. Because I think they also regulate at the school. For instance, this FCT school, UBEC should be telling them, you don't even, everything that you need, furniture, teachers, everything, is what we, we must use the money you. for. Mm. They must compel that, at least. Then, because human factor happens. Compel that what because the, ICPC the state and do? the local government don't have yeah, sense. What, what they need. ICPC doing. should escort the, 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 the uh, provision. So if UBEC is saying you need 
table and chairs. Rather than give the funding in cash, they are giving table and chairs to the school and calling it counterpart funding. ICBC follow the table and chairs to the source. Mm. Why? To make it? sure that it is not you back feeding back their staff with the money or Nigerians happening to themselves in in, in, in so Nigerians cannot regulate themselves. Is that what you are telling me? No, no. So, you see, it, I mean, it's, it's quite it's quite sad, sad because I mean, there's the, there's the eco excellency in Lagos. There is the Edo Best. Which is, I think, I mean, World Bank still gave them seventeen million dollars. I mean, because One, they've observed the work they've done and they, they've, they, they've applauded Edo State. So if you, are, if your small community hasn't been reached, yeah, not because of that. About. I'm talking about last year or two years ago. <laughs> but and I know Quarrel has always Lagos started. Can you so, mind your you know, I'm not Lagos people. I'm just telling you that the work that do and Edo Best you. has been a pioneer. In fact, mm -hmm. Lagos also went to Peter Edo to learn. And we learn from Edo, and we use that, and then um, 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 customize it for Lagos. No, don't worry. So I don't have, you don't have to defend. No, I must. No, I want. No, I want I'm explaining to you. Let me put this one out there. I, I just took somebody a girl. From State. I just took a word back home. Here. Yes. Who was in the public school, and whose school fees was about that one thousand five hundred? And she insisted she doesn't want to go because she was in a school in Lagos State, a private school here. Mm. She wants a private school in Edo, and we we're sent a bill higher mm. than what she used to pay. She is that's illegal. Hey, mm. That's not the government. Say, that's something I am not you people. Why is it that? That's people. You say you say mm. what bad give them now. Then you they talk Edo, talk like say you pay Edo. <laughs> you say what bad give them a word. And I'm telling you, oh, I just God, said back in what you talk Lagos. My name is Abwe Dalia. Oh, Lord, I can't yeah, shut up. Yeah. 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 I am an Edo girl. And I'm telling you, it's not working like that. Let the Edo people come and tell me otherwise. You're talking about Lagos. You're talking about Lagos. Because you live in Lagos. I can also tell you. Compete and tell you. Gorayo, if I tell you I know Lagos, I know it. I live in Lagos. Yeah. And I don't say what Just I don't like you know. Abuja, you know but Abuja. you don't live in Edo. You don't have a word there. You don't have your ancestry no, there. And you the, say you know but them. But the thing is, based on what why, paper why, work. No, but why, um, why, um, <laughs> Mariah would insist it because she went to Edouard. Yes, she saw and I saw the on a two weeks visit. Yes, I have my ancestry there. My grandmother yes. still lives there. Yes. I have nieces, nephews, <laughs> cousins, cousins yes. family members. They can't and rest this. Like but the truth, the state is big. Make them do and Edo. Let Edo to be like Lagos. Let us criticize Edo. There are people in Lagos that are complaining. There are people in Lagos that they don't have us people. No, let them let Lagos people talk about. But when Edo people say we need this development, don't don't try and tell our government. Tell us that we are lying on our government. There are places. It's not that they are lying, but they have worked. Senior journalists who are just looking at Edo governor, government and, and fuming who are from my region as well. Mm. So, when we talk about let us face our government, government do what we ask you. Let Edo to even upgrade. Let us be at <laughs> Make her face my Lagos governor. That's all we can take on today's show. <laughs> you know, you do governor, but I'll sort yourself out. <laughs> all right, that's all we can take on today's show. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye for now. <laughs>